at a horn into your power. It's telling you something. You need to act now. It's not gonna go away until you do something about it, you know? Hey there! Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Magical Frey. I hope you're having a magical day getting to do what you want to do because you can and you're alive. Yes! In today's video, I wanted to sit down, chit chat about a time where I was inspired by someone that I adore and they mentioned a story where I saw an image and I was inspired by that story and I wanted to sketch it out and jot it down and get my colors and my ideas out there onto a canvas. I get inspired by so many things anywhere, everywhere that sometimes when an image comes into my mind, I have to draft it out, sketch it out, grab my colors, my paintbrushes, my canvas and paint it out and th that's literally what happened here. So. Let me get a little closer here. So shout out to my cousin, Josephine, because she truly inspired me enough to paint her spirit animal. Like, get into it, yes. As you can see, it's an owl. And honestly, I was super inspired enough to just jot it out, so this one's for you, cousin. So grab your snacks, your pillows, your wine, whatever you want, your art supplies, and let's get into painting. All right, so you already know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be painting the edges. It's my favorite part. I get so excited. I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna go in and immerse myself into painting this beautiful, beautiful animal. So I got my colors over here. I'm kind of going to be using the same kind of colors I was using for my last canvas, which is like browns, purples, greens, blues. That's what I'm gonna be doing. So let's get into the story. Let me introduce my cousin, Josephine, AKA Jo Love Spirit. She's a grief counselor. She is a Reiki master. She's a healer. She helps people. And so let me tell you the story. So one day I was talking to my cousin. This literally feels like girl talk. I love, I love this kind of video. So first and foremost, if you're into energy, spirituality, anything about the unknown and whatnot, this will make sense. And if it doesn't make sense, then you know, this is, think of it as just me telling a story time. So I called up my cousin. We were catching up about everything that's been happening with businesses and how we have a different mindset and everything, like things are changing. You know, things have definitely changed over the year. A lot can change in a year. So we were basically catching up on like all of our accomplishments, our goals and what else we want to do. And I mentioned to her that I was really curious about connecting with my spirit guides and I wanted to ask her how and what are the steps into connecting with my own spirit guides so she told me her story that we had multiple spirit guides for multiple tasks and that fascinated me in itself because I thought it was just like one person or like a spirit that was like in the family like my grandpa my grandma and I didn't think animals would be really a part of it unless you were like in a tribe or anything. I'm just saying that I didn't know much about spirit animals and I was genuinely curious about it. Like maybe, maybe I had one without even me knowing. So I asked her about it and she told me all the tips and tricks on how to connect with your spirit guide. And I was so fascinated by that that I asked her, I was like, okay, so what's your spirit guide? And she told me that, I, that she has multiple spirit guides, but the one that she always sees is an owl. And I was like, an owl? And then right when she said an owl, the way she said it, the tone, the attitude, like the pitch when she said an owl, I immediately got like an image in my mind, the colors, and it was looking through me with big, big eyes. It was like a piercing image. Like it was like, oh, it's staring into my soul, kind of like an image, you know? So I was like, this is insane. She's just telling me details of her spirit animal, what her spirit animal does for her and I had to immediately stop her. I was like, okay, cousin, cousin, stop, stop. I didn't mean to interrupt you, but like I have to tell you that I just got an image of this animal and I know the colors and like I was just inspired. I had to write it down. I literally wrote down the colors and everything. I was like, owl, black, 
purples, blues, greens, a little bit of brown. And I was just like, it was just coming to me immediately, honestly. And I was like, wow, I can't believe I'm inspired to paint someone's spirit animal. And I was just like, okay, you know what? This is what I'm gonna do. This is what I'm feeling. The image is strong. The image is bright and the image is vivid. So I made it a point to make a video about it because I always get inspired by so many things. Inspiration is literally everywhere. Magic is every magic is everywhere so i wanted to hold on to that image and sketch it out paint it grab my colors and everything and really immerse myself into this painting because either i keep sketching it out until i paint it out and that's literally what happens so here i am today painting my cousin's spirit animal just because i was inspired by the way she said it literally just the tone of it you know how words can mean different things like love i love food i love clothes i love doing my hair or whatever you know there's just different tones different attitudes with it so the way she said it was like ow and i was like <gasps> whoa oh my gosh like am i getting a vision right now an image like what is this what is this i wanted to just hold on to that energy so that's what i'll do i think it's honestly amazing to get inspired by anything of any day what you're watching what you listen to what you see what you want to do too like it's amazing that words can just inspire the mind to create have you ever wanted to create something because you were inspired by what someone said or what you saw i see people all the time on tiktok or on instagram or all the social medias where you're just like oh my god i'm inspired by that i want to take pictures of that too i want to go somewhere too like people are genuinely inspired by literally anything and i'm over here inspired by a word by one word <laughs> so gotta hone into your power it's telling you something you need to act now. It's not gonna go away until you do something about it, you know? So, I love that. And honestly, she inspires me. She motivates me to heal myself, to work on myself. And without her, honestly, I don't know where I would be. But she really helped me when I was really down. She helped me when I was healing, when a really close friend of mine passed away. And when you're at a certain age where you're not used to dealing with the death, especially when your friends die and they're young, it's... It, it's a toll on you, you know, especially if you're so close to them and when they're no longer there, it's like, who do you talk to? You know, like, who do you really talk to? You know, sometimes you can't talk to your parents. Sometimes you can't talk to certain friends. Like, they're not at a certain stage where death has happened for them or they just don't know how to cope with it or, you know, people don't know. So she has really truly inspired me to work on myself, to heal myself and be the better version of myself that I can be. And I think that's just so amazing. And I think that when you go through death, I know this is like a little, a little dark, sorry, but like I have to get it out. And when you get it out, I gotta get it out, so... When death happens in your life and you don't know, and it's like abrupt and you don't know what to do with yourself, you can fall into a really dark, deep depression. You have to figure out like who's really gonna be there for you, who really talks to you, who understands your silence. Like when you're not talking, you're not on social media or anything, like, pe like the people that recognize you're gone, duh. Those are the ones that understand and know and pay attention. Something's going wrong something's happening and she instantly knew she went through a very similar experience with someone very close to her and i'm not going to say anything because it's her story but i'm just saying that she went through something and she had to go through it and then next thing you know it happened to me and i had to ask her what she had to go through how did she cope is she still coping is she still healing and i'm pretty sure this owl was helping her during that time and the fact that i got an image of like this spirit animal i'm just like this just makes so much sense to me as a human being, I know everyone has to go through death sometime in their life from their friends, their colleagues, co-workers, family members and it could be it could be really tough to move forward to you know get on with your life and figure out how to go from here and having someone that kind of understands your situation that has gone through it and can actively be there for you you know facetiming text messages you know all that good stuff it can be extremely 
helpful to pick yourself up again and realize what you have to do in that moment and how you want to react to that situation because everything that happens in your life and then you reacting to it that's the outcome so she really helped me and i'm over here thinking like did the spirit her did her spirit guide know too like was he or she around when i was when I was going through at that time, I'm just like, is that why I got the image so clear, the, the colors and everything? It's like I saw it already and I just needed her to say it, say the activating word for the image to reappear so strong. Now I'm over here emotionally more stronger, mentally stronger, spiritually stronger. Things are coming to me quick, easier, and more clear. So I'm just like, wow, this is, this is amazing. I just, I feel like I had to paint this to commemorate this type of animal because this animal is so powerful. And who doesn't like owls? Owls are just so mysterious, mystical, big eyes, fluffy, they like rotate their head 360, like they're, they're interesting creatures, like what? Oh my god, owls are so cool, especially when they just come unannounced or like on your house. <laughs> Or they're in the middle of the street and they're just like turning their head and they're just like, okay, well, I'm just gonna go another way because you know, I don't know. Sometimes it could be a little, it could be a little creepy with the way they turn their head, but they're just so cool to me. I don't really like owls. I don't know what type of species owl that I'm painting, but this, this owl species is the one that came through, so I'm gonna paint it this way. And once it, I'm done, actually, I'm gonna Google to see what kind of if it resonates or it's very similar to a certain owl that I actually don't know the name of because there are so many different types of names for animals now. You know how like for cats there's like cougar, cat, jaguar, like there's just so many in that category. Like I wouldn't even know the name for owls. So have you ever been inspired by one word and it made you want to do something that day? Tell me, comment down below if you have because I'm just so inspired. Like I keep thinking about the people that are inspired to make TikToks. I'm like, do you see something or do you just, something is happening in your life, you're like, I gotta make a TikTok, I gotta make a video, I gotta post it, I gotta put out a post on Instagram or something like that. Like, what, what, what happens in your daily life that gets you inspired to make something, to create, to do something about it, to change your aspect, to change your beliefs? Like, I'm curious, I wanna know. Please comment down below. Let's have a real conversation. Yes. So yeah, I really hope you like that story of me being inspired by literally one word. One word can inspire a whole image in my head and I'm just like, I'm just gonna accept it and embrace it because this, this is what's coming through. This is what I gotta go to create and get out. So yeah. So check it out. I added metallic paint to this beautiful owl. I'm just thinking of like some cool name to go with this, like galactic owl, cosmic owl. I'm just like, get into this. Yes. I can't believe one word inspired me to paint this. I'm <laughs> just like, <"Psh." laughs> Please smash that like button if you like spirit guides, if you like animals, if you like painting, if you like story time, like if you just genuinely like the vibe of this video. So yeah, I hope you have a magical day making magic, taking action today because you already know that magic is everywhere and you can be inspired by anything. <laughs> All right, so I hope you have a magical day being your magical self and I'll see you next time. Bye. Because you can and you're alive. I mean that. Grab your snacks, your art supplies. I wanted to, I don't even know. I, I don't know. Literally magic is everywhere. And if you don't believe that, then are you even tapping in? You got your own power. Are you tapping into your power? That's what I want to know! It's just so cool. I'm just like, I use this color called gunmetal, and I was like, gunmetal. So I'm like, get into this magic that came from my head, onto a sketchbook, onto a canvas, and my hands. My hands.
My hands are making this. Sometimes I just let my hands flow. I just let it go. I don't even... <laughs> it's the details for me, honestly. This is my thumbnail. I'm painting. <laughs> <laughs> uh.